Hey folks, I am here at Schneider Park and we're heading for, I, I shouldn't say we because I don't have a little mouse in my pocket, but I'm just going to say it, it's easier for me to say it. We're heading uh, toward the first hole here um, to uh, play a round of Frisbee golf. I guess there's 18 holes here, so uh, we'll go ahead and we'll get started here. And I forgot how to do it. First hole's over here, isn't it? Yes. Thank you. So, um, anyways, I will show you once again uh, Snyder Park. And I think this is the first hole, if I'm not mistaken. I forgot now. I only played it once, and uh, I, was, I was a complete neophyte when it came to uh, understanding, you know, how to tee off, where to tee off. Uh, you know, this, that, the other things. So I was completely unaware of everything. But uh, now this is my kind of sign, okay? This is my kind of sign right here. Disc golf this way. Arrow that way. Welcome to Snyder Park. Entering disc golf course. Beware of flying discs. Now that's just my kind of warning right there. And actually, you could get seriously hurt. So you have to be kind of careful. Oh, okay. Now I see what's going on here, folks. This is the tee off for the regular uh, tee. But obviously, if you're gonna do a, uh, you know, the better one, you go back there and you tee off from there. See, I didn't catch all this last time. I didn't catch all this. So um, we'll look at the sign now and um, we'll see what's going on. Now, the last time I did this, I hit that uh, palm, pre uh, palm tree branch right there and it kind of messed up my whole first hole. Like I told you, if they would trim this out a little bit, this would be playable, this would be doable, but you'd have to trim some of these things so it made it easier for beginners. Uh, we don't want to be in competition with Biff uh, McDaniels and all the rest of them, okay? We don't want to get down on our stomachs and throw underneath the low hanging branches, etc., etc. Now, here's the first hole. Okay, it is a, what is this, par four? 450 feet. Okay, I don't know what this is all about. But anyways, you can see that there's all sorts of different nebulous little things here that we can't figure out what they mean. It says that the basket is up to the left. And um, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't remember this. I think it was up and to the left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera down and I'm going to go back there. And um, you're going to see my disc, hopefully, uh, flying true here uh, to get through this course. So this will be my first shot. So I guess, I guess I can put it right here and you can see me tee off. I guess that's the proper way to do it. Um, is, if there's any wind, we're kind of screwed. But I'll try nonetheless to make this entertaining for anybody that wants to watch it. And you'll see what we have to deal with here in Fort Lauderdale. Um, okay, well, now this is having a really hard time staying up. I don't know. It doesn't seem like this is going to stay up for me, but hang on and I'll do my best. I don't know if that'll stay up or not, but if it does, it'll be a miracle. I'm going to use my boss, 154, Inigo boss. The people at Inigo was very nice to me. Here we go. And, uh, let's see if I can get something done here. so many things here that it's not bad if you can get an 80 90 foot drive so um not bad you could see that my forehand was a little substandard there and it did go off to the right but that's why i'm using my in of a boss orange colored disc because it is in there somewhere uh i saw it uh, drift off over there so it can't be too too far in um maybe right around here but you can see oh there it is Okay, so it wasn't a bad shot. Now, I thought that this first hole, oh wow, it's wet here, it must have rained last night. Let's go take a look and see where the hole is. I thought the hole was over there. 
I thought, and it's an elevated one. Do I remember that right, or am I going this way? We're going to have to take a look, and I'm sorry, folks, because I don't remember, but uh, everything is so nebulous here. Oh, no, that's 18. So that's 18. Thank goodness there's at least a marker on this, and you can see how wet things are. It must have rained pretty good here last night. I did not know that. All right, so the, so I, yeah, okay, I think the basket is there. So I'm, I'm over there. I had a very satisfactory first shot. J just to let you know, in Snyder Park, sorry, folks, I know it's really kind of hard to see. At Snyder Park, um, any throw that doesn't hit something or get put into the, the brush is a good throw, okay? So I think this is the first hole, and the second hole I think is elevated, if I remember. So I got to just make sure that this is hole one. Is that one? Yes, this is hole one. So, again, like I tell you, this whole legend that they have out there on the instruction sign said that it looked to me like it was over there. But again, this is all part of the confusion that they do to you. And, and this is like for many parks, not just this one. So, okay, hang on. I'll put it on pause. Hey, folks, I'm back here. Um... There's my disc right there. And like I told you, I teed off from that back there. So this looks like it's probably around 120 feet, if that. <clears throat> Maybe about 120 feet. And uh, with one leg over here, I'm going to have to try to go around this tree. And the hole is, oh, and the, um, uh, the basket is over there. So we'll go ahead and uh, see if I can't get a little arc over there. Maybe I can do it with, uh, I don't know how to exactly do this. I should probably do a forehand. I think I have a better chance with that. So we're going to do a little forehand. Here we go. There. And it looks like I just barely cleared it. Uh, it looks like I just barely cleared it. Maybe I got a clear shot now to the basket. That's my second shot. And yes, I can see the basket about 125 feet uh from here and of course i'm in the water here so um i don't want to get in the water so we'll just go this way and i'll tell you something folks with this kind of action right here with all the blockage of this palm tree i'm kind of tempted to do a hammer and i may do exactly that because the, when i did this last time it took me like five throws to be able to get it to the basket if not six i think i went double bogey and this, I think, is a par four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a tomahawk here. And I'm going to try, uh, because of this damn branch right here, I'm going to try to get into a position where I can shoot at that basket. So here we go. <clears throat> All right. Well, I kind of messed that up, in my opinion. I should have put it more out on the fairway. But, of course, I didn't. I don't know why I threw it over there so deeply over there. I keep getting myself into all these ruts. So let's go ahead now. Uh, I may have a shot at that basket. It may be a forehand. Let me see now. Where is the basket? Okay, the basket is right there. You can see the yellow end of a sticker. So I'm right here. And I think I may have to use him. I might have to tomahawk this thing again. I don't know. There's just so much brush here. And it's so congested that I just don't know what to do otherwise. I guess I can try to play. I think I can do it here. So I'm going to try to do a forehand and see if I can't get some pay dirt here and get next to that basket. Here we go. <clears throat> okay. Looks like it's not a bad throw. Not a bad chuck. So uh, I'm there. I'm not exactly parked, but I'm not far away. I'm within 20 feet. In fact, it's probably around a 15-footer right there. So let's see if I can't get it done. By the way, like I told you, now this has an arrow, uh, which shows you which way to go, at least. Uh, we're not always that lucky. And, uh, yeah, this is a good uh, 16 feet here. And as you can see, they don't even bother painting these. And I saw in a video yesterday at some golf courses, they do paint them. And I saw them. I saw the color on them. Okay, so now I have my uh, Innova XT. 
and we're going to go for dunk here. And this will be, let me see, one, two, three. Is this for par? Let me see, one. Uh, let's see, one, two, three. This is for par. Here we go, folks. I'm going to try to sink here. It looks easy until you're out here trying to do it, and then it's not so easy. All right. I actually made par on Snyder Park first hole. Now we're getting somewhere. I can't believe it. I don't think I did it last time. I think I did it in five or six because you get hung up. See what I mean? You get hung up there. All them trees. So now we'll head over this way. I don't remember this completely. Um, I think this is the one that takes you to the water where you have to throw your disc over water and we won't be doing that one. Okay, this is probably where you tee off. Uh, that's probably the pro. And don't forget, I did the pro. Last time I didn't do the pro level, I did the more forward one. So we'll do the pro one this time. And again, I forgot where the basket is here. I think it's straight out. And I think I see the basket. It's right behind that far tree. I think I see it. There it is right there. It's got to be that one right there. It's straight out there. Dead center right there. So, okay. Hole two. Snyder Park. And we are at pro. It's pro. Uh, it's par three. It's a 400 foot uh, from back yonder. So that's exactly what we're going to do. It would be much easier to do it from here because I, I banged and I, I doinked these trees all along the way. So, I mean, I wasn't doing good for a long all along but let's see if i can't get a nice forehand here because you almost have to go forehand in order to be able to make any headway so let's see oh my god i'm almost tempted to make a a, a backhand and try to go around this tree here but i don't know you gotta throw you got to throw a really good tunnel shot here. And uh, I don't know. I'm going to try to do it. I'm going to try to do my forehand. And I'm just going to try to whiz this uh, through. And we'll see what happens. But I'll probably get a doink. But I don't know of any other way I could do it. I guess I could go this way. But, uh, you know, you'll get around here and the frisbee will go off. The, the disc will go off to the, to the right. So I think you're just going to have to... John Wayne it here uh, with great velocity, and that's what we're going to do. Here we go. Hole two, Snyder Park. Damn it! Damn it! You see, folks, it's so frustrating. Damn it! All right, well, now I'm going to have to John Wayne this again because I'm now I'm only, what, a good 30 feet up? Now I gotta really nail this. So, here we go. <clears throat> All right, better. Of course, it's gotta get hung up in that effing palm. Cut the damn palms. Don't make it so challenging that people have to go through six and seven tries in order to make it to the damn basket. Trim these damn things. Trim this over here. Trim that over there. Got enough obstacles right now with these damn trees. This is why they need to get beginners into this sport. You don't do that by making everything nearly impossible. Okay. All right, we got the hole straight in. This is my third shot. So this is gonna be for par, believe it or not. So here we go. All right, that's not bad, not bad. At least I got a shot for approach. At least I got a shot. So here we go, and I will cut this video, and this will be uh, holes one and two. The third is an elevated hole. I see it over there. I remember it. I think I did okay on that one. Um, this is going to be for a bogey, I think. I think this is a par three. So um, you really need to get clear. Uh, oh, this is the elevated one. Okay. Well, folks, we're going to take the XT Nova the Innova XT Nova, 
and we're looking to sink this and this is a long long putt we're talking and it's elevated we're talking maybe 45 feet here maybe about 40 feet i would say here we go innova xt we're going for it this will be for bogey or is it one two three this is for the fourth shot which i think is bogey here we go my innova xt nova <clears throat> all right went a little bit too far folks hey at least i tried right at least i tried i got about 22 feet closer so i still have a no gimme putt here so i'm going to do this one in five if i make it here which is I don't know, about 15 here. I made it last time. I did a good putt, but this is elevated, so it's not so easy. Oh, got it. Man, let me tell you something. When these are elevated, a lot of people don't like these elevated uh, putts. They don't like them. I'm letting you know. A lot of people don't like this. I think the women don't like it either. So now we're finished with two. And uh, let's see. Okay, we got the sign there, thank goodness. We go this way, and I'm going to cut this video because I'm going to take a little breather here. I don't really need it, but I'm going to anyway. Uh, and again, we got to figure out where the third hole is. I think it's over there, if I remember correctly. Oh, yeah, because that might be the launch right there for pro. That might be launch. I mean, oh, no, that might be going the other way. I don't know. We'll have to see. I don't know, because it's kind of ambiguous here. It's hard. It's hard to figure out what you're doing here. Uh, because there's no real directions or anything. Okay, maybe this is it right here. Is this the one that goes over the water? I think it is. I think this is hole three. This is the one that goes over the water. I would love to throw this thing over the water. Because I'm pretty sure that I can do it. But I don't want to lose my disc. So... I might, I might be coaxed into doing it for my subs. The wind is coming in too, which isn't helpful. Let me see here. Where are we at? There's the basket over the water. The problem is, if you really give it a good throw and you hit that tree, it's going in the water. That's the problem. It's going in the water. So what I'll do is I'll play this hole but, and this will be the last one, and then I'll put the, and then we'll make a part two and three. Um, you know, like you could play for it right there. But again, if you hit that palm, you've lost your disc. So I'm just going to go a different route with this. I'm just going to go up and over here. Okay, folks, I'm sorry. I just don't want to lose my disc. So I'm going to go up and over this way. Uh, if that makes me a wimp, I guess I'm a wimp, okay? Uh, 255 feet. It's a par three. I wonder if there's a... Oh, I guess that's it right there. That's it right there. So I will go back to the, to the pro because I've been doing the pro level each time. So what I'll do is I'll just go around this and take the landlubber's way to go. And I'm just... You've got to get way over there by that by that uh, volleyball net. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna just try to get through that, all that uh, treeage over there, okay? Here we go. Of course, there's got to be uh, trees. They can't trim the branches. That would be impossible. That's impossible. You can't trim the, the branches. Gotta make sure that people suffer here and get as low a score as possible. There's one. Okay, there's two. Make sure you have maximum amount of blocking of everything as you can. So the only people that can come through here and throw this in three is going to be a Simon Lazat. That's it. So there's two. Okay, this is for three. I got to be careful because I and then make sure the branches come down all the way so that you have to get down on your hands and knees 
to throw uh, something that's going to make some sort of sense. Here we go. <clears throat> that's actually not a bad throw for a change. Okay, I don't think it's in the water. I can't see it. I don't think the water comes up there. All right, so this is, that was my third shot. Or was it? Was it my second? First, second, third. All right, so that was my third shot. And this is going to be for my fourth shot. So it'll be for bogey. Let's have a look here. What the hell did I do? Where did the disc go? Did it go down in the water? Did I lose my disc? Oh, no, there it is over there. Okay, so now there is the basket over there. Uh, there is an element of risk uh, getting into that water, so I'm going to have to be very careful. I'm going to be using a heavy forehand for this. I just want to get near that entrance. So here we go. <clears throat> uh, a good throw. I'm happy with it. Uh, if I don't get it in the water there. Not bad. So that was, let's see, one, two, three. One, two, three. I guess that was my fourth shot. So we'll end this video here as soon as I figure out whether or not I can I can get a a putt in from here. But that's a that's an obstructed putt. But at least it was a decent shot. I got a good approach on it. So you see, if you drop your disc here, if it goes in here, you can't get it unless you feel like going in there swimming, and I don't think you're allowed to do it. So, all right, I'm going to have a straight-up putt here. So this is going to be for five. This is my fifth shot. So we'll leave that there. We're going to be doing the uh, XT Nova by Innova, the same ones that are bringing us that... that uh, that basket there, which should be painted a color of bright, visible color, but that would involve uh, maybe three cans of spray, spray paint or four or five cans of spray paint, which would cost around less than 20 US dollars. So we don't care enough about our disc golf here to do that. Hint, hint, uh, Innova, come down here and get somebody to do it. It'd be really nice. Okay, here we go. Innova Nova, I have yet to sink. A really nice 35 to 40 footer. I've never done it before. So let's see if I can't sink this one. <clears throat> no, I'm still way, way off. And uh, I'm, I'm back almost as far as when I started there, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, because I went off the thing there. That's real bad. That's really, really bad. So... Once you go off there, you drop off. I didn't know about this, so I should have known. I wouldn't have played it quite so aggressively, I think. And now I got to sink this for a double bogey or triple bogey. Here we go. Nope. So there you have it. It's going to be a what, one, one, two. It's going to be a three putt. So this isn't very good in the world of golf in general when you when you three putt it's a bad deal but this is almost parked so i know i'm not going to have any trouble with this one this will be no trouble at all all right so i guess it's a triple bogey i think it's a triple bogey so i did all right for a while but now we'll cut this video and we will be back with uh, four and up bye